barrister Victor Giwa. Good to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. I'd like to start with you on, I'm sure several uh, uh, people have said what they think about the autonomy. But let's look at um, the futuristic, the sustainability of this autonomy. It's one thing to be celebrating the fact that the local governments now have their financial autonomy. It's another thing to look beyond this. What happens in the next, probably when this administration is gone? How do we sustain this win? Well, thank you. I, I, I really, first of all, I don't want to, I don't want to answer your question. We, we assume that I have considered to the fact that the Supreme Court gave autonomy to the, to the local government, um, financial autonomy to the local government. I, like I said in one of in some programs, we have not have not had the opportunity of seeing the judgment of the Supreme Court. And one of the issues we always have is that. Sometimes media under, understate what the, what the court have said or they overstate what the court have said. So until I can see this judgment, I will not be able to speak to it. But however, one of the things I think that Nigerians are celebrating is the fact that, yes, the, the local government will have some level of financial independence. But you see, there cannot be financial independence when just because, as uh, assumably, the Supreme Court have said money, sh uh, all the money for the federal account should be paid directly to the local government council. And they now jump up and say, oh, we have financial autonomy. That is not true. First of all, section 7, subsection 1 says that the local government system must be by democratically elected government, which mm -hmm. section 7, 1 says it is guaranteed. In short, that is the only section where it was mentioned democratically elected government so the first part is that the Supreme Court has said we don't care about we don't i don't know about caretaker committee i don't know about caretakers if you want to have, if you want to man that council you must have come up you must be a product of an election mm. give away we want that we are, and that's what the Supreme Court. one of the reasons why that case went to court because like it has been known most of the local government have been manned by caretaker committees, appointees, girlfriends, boyfriends of the governors. So now the, it said, if you want to be go, if you want to be a local government chairman, go for an election and all of that. That is. But the issue of autonomy, people are jumping. You have not still gotten the autonomy until we can be assured that the state local government election uh, election board can conduct a free and fair election that will not be just a carad by the governor. Go and look at all the gov all the elections conducted by the state. Governors, they are different. They just do a carad and say they are doing an election, and all the opposition, no one of them will not win one seat, one, one, one of the council. So what are you talking about? So if if the governor wants you, for example, in a state, you want you to be the chair, just ask you to go. But well, don't worry, they have come and participate in the election. Don't worry. So the election is going. They already, they already, they already you know, pencil down your name. That is the person. So they are next. The sec, the state electoral yeah. commission will just come and announce you and say peace is the now the chairman of have won this election. So is that what we are talking about the autonomy? It is still not. You are still within the apron string of the governor. So that is that is the other side. That until the Supreme Court start looking at those issues, how elections can be conducted, such that the, the, in, there should be independence of the election in the state government for the local government council. It is at that point. Because, as a matter of fact, under section 7, subsection 1, and like I tell people, section 7, subsection 1 did not create local government. What it says is that the local government council shall be a democratic elected government, and accordingly, each state shall subject to section 8. Look at what it said. Each state shall subject to section 8. Ensure under the law of a state establish a local government its composition its structure its finance and its function so is this why the constitution guarantee that there should be local government it is the state law that then creates the local government so if local government is still a product of the state under section 7 subsection 1 because why the section 1 says Local government is guaranteed. You should be elected. So, so if, 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 we, if we get you correctly, what you're trying to say in earnest is that until there is there are policies, there are legislative laws, laws from, the that, from the state that helps that autonomy, Correct. we may not be able to... Correct. Because to the constitution says that each state, 
under the law, we make a law that provides, said each state shall make a law that provides for its establishment, structure, composition, finance, and its function. Each state shall under a law which will provide for its establishment. Why the question said local government is guaranteed, but you know, say each state shall make a law that can talk about its establishment, composition, structure, finance. So it is the law of the state that will now talk about how the finance should be. So, so for you, how do you think we can begin to lift up? You know, just like uh, Chief. Uh, uh, Madaki Ame said that um, the local government has actually been under the armpit of the state's government. How can we now finally lift up the local government from this? Um, see, the best way, good question, the best way to ensure that there's independence of the local government is first of all, there must be an independent electoral process that will lead to the emergence of the local government chairman. Does that mean uh, the state independent electoral commissions are not supposed to be in place? No, you that state in, independent electoral commission must be conducted, must be composed in such a way and must be structured in such a way that we guarantee the independence of that commission. Okay. It is because as the state governor, as the state governor appoints you, he appoints his girlfriend and his friend to be there, and when they are corrupting the nobody looks at. If I ask you now, do you monitor Adamawa State local government election? You don't even know when it was conducted. You don't even know when the one of Jigawa State was conducted. You don't even know when the, the state local government election for Ibadan was conducted. Because we, everybody, we don't, we are not, it is presidential. Oh, governor, I don't state is doing an election. We are ready. But when they start, the local government that is close to us, mm. that's supposed to be providing the governance, we don't look at it. And so the governor, the governor take advantage of it and use the local government as their kitchen. So they just call their boyfriend and their girlfriend and, their, and to say, okay, just go there, bring the money. When the money comes, don't worry. They even determine the amount you get. Okay, the government, the, the federal government have just bought 10 million. I'm going to give you 1 million. Just use it to pay your staff. So if you need more money, you can come and meet me. And so that's how the government, as a matter of, the governors, as a matter of fact, have run local government as their external office. Now, let's look at handing over the dividends of democracy to Nigerians at the local government uh, level, which is, like you said, the closest to the people. Mm -hmm. For you, what do you think this local government, with this new uh, uh, in, in intake into the, the polity, what do you think can be done to make sure that dividends of democracy get to them, even when the local government chairman have been elected? Good question. Um, just like my colleague just said, you know, the, the constitution empowers the states to set up the structure for local governments. And, you know, the creation of local governments is actually in the purview of the uh, House of Assembly state of the state. Yeah. You know, so um, to that extent, if we're going to run the democracy properly, then we will get to that point where states should be on their own able to create new local governments and then make uh, the house of assembly should make the laws you know that ensure that they run uh, properly and when those uh, local governments are created at the state level as uh, legal state government wanted to do at a point yeah. and their funds were withheld by uh, president obasanjo you know it shouldn't be so in a proper democracy that's working properly because the way it should run is that once the, uh, the state creates the local government, because they are the closest, you know, to the people, and the states are in a better position to know which local government deserve to be created from amongst the ones that already exist. And in fact, up to now, the local government that we have currently were actually created by the states, you know, during uh, the military regime, you know. So at the end of the day, what I think should happen is, as soon as those local governments are created, the list is forwarded, you know, to, um, you know, the, the constitution is consequentially amended to include the list of those local governments, mm -hmm. you know, so that the argument that uh, President Obasanjo used, you know, to emasculate the funds of legal state, you know, which was actually political vendetta, you know, will not happen. Okay. You know, so, but to answer your question directly, democracy is, is one. 
you know, by the struggles of the people and never handed over on a platter of gold. It is activism. It's demand. It's consistent, you know, request by the people that this is the way we want to be governed. That will make the governance at that local level work. I've been at home, you know, to witness uh, local council elections before. Usually done, uh, you know, like by option A4. People come out heavily, you know, to contest, you know, for council, uh, for, for council councillorship positions at the ward level. If you know the politicking that goes into becoming a councillor, you know, you, be, you, you, you will then know that, you know, the future of our democracy lies with the empowerment of the local governments and of politics at the ward level, at the village level. Because if, if you start from the grassroots up, then those who are at the top will be held accountable and they will know that everybody is watching them. All right. I think that's what we need to do. All right. Thank you so very much. Well, our time will not permit us to go further. So I want to say thank you to you, boss, uh, Barista Victor Giwa and uh, Chief Madakiame for making it to the studio this morning. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Well, this is the much uh, we will take on Morning Express. This